And so the first drill that we're going to talk about is the short hop drill. We start off with our guys on our knee and they're throwing the ball. We're working on glove placement, fingers to the ground just like an infielder. We're working on soft hands, loose wrist, open glove, through the ball, tracking it with our eyes. So the second drill that we're doing is called the reaction drill. We do this for about 45 seconds to a minute, back and forth. We're trying to build up that high motor. The, the, the player is going to get their prep steps, and then what we're trying to do is eliminate any false steps. Move, every movement is straight to the ball. So the third drill that we're going to go through, it's, it's called dancing. Essentially, I didn't name it dancing. Our guys come to me many times during practice, hey coach, are we going to dance today? And what we do is sometimes we do it on the warning track, sometimes we do it in the cages depending on how the field is, but what we do is they get in a line, I take my arm and I lift it up. That means get their prep step. As you'll see, I've got two balls in my hand. I'm not trying to wear the guys out. I'm trying to teach them to react to what they see and don't anticipate. Um, the next drill that we're going to do that we, is we do no glove drills. We go from doing ground balls, ground balls at angles. We do swiveling the hips, changing directions without rounding the curve. We also go to fly balls to where they have to open up glove side, open up opposite glove side, and then work on swiveling the head. Right here are the ground balls where what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that they catch the ground ball in the exact same place every single time. For this, drop, for this drill right here, what we're doing is we're trying to make sure that they're changing directions efficiently with, without losing time. I put the ball up, catch the ball barehanded where they have their soft hands and loose wrists and track them with their eyes. From the drill that we do is called a four cone drill. This one right here can be done indoors as well. You can shorten it up. You can actually, if you shorten it up indoors in a gym, you, can, you, you don't have to use gloves. You can use tennis balls. You can change the direction of the cones. Instead of looking like a square, you can turn it like a diamond. But it, what we're doing here, a lot of times I hit fungos. On this day, I was using a machine. All I'm doing is I got a machine that's throwing the ball right in the center of those four guys, of the four cones, and they, they're getting all four directions.